So once you finish the procedure with the cube, there's some steps to take uh, to make sure we are properly disinfecting and sterilizing the machine. So first and foremost, you're going to want to go ahead and take your bag, whether it's saline or um, sterile water, and throw it away. Okay. From there, depending on which sort of uh, tubing you are using, this particular tubing happens to be our autoclavable version. We do have the disposable version next to it. The difference is the disposable version has this um, little on off on it, while the autoclavable version, the perforators can unscrew. If you're using the autoclavable version, this is now disposable. You're going to go ahead and throw that away. From here, you're going to want to take the end of the tubing, regardless of which one you're using, take a cup of water, fill it up with just some tap water, like so, stick the end of it in, take your handpiece, this button here flushes and forces water, so we're basically going to drink the water through that tube. There was no water in this line, but there it goes. Now it's being pulled through. So what we're doing now is we're essentially drinking this fresh tap water, flushing out the irrigation line, as well as the hand piece. So uh, if you're using the autoclavable version, now normally you're going to use the entire cup, but for the sake of this presentation, we'll speed it up. Um, and if you're using the autoclavable version, you'll want to make sure we save the tubing. If you're using the disposable version, the tubing, when you're done, goes in the trash. So I'm going ahead and let the pump flow through. Even though there's no water, you'll notice there's no more water coming out. That means that I've gotten all the water out of the irrigation line and out of the handpiece. So at this point in time, this cup is done. And now we can go ahead and sort of disassemble and bring this to your stereo center. So first things first, we'll pull this out. Like I said, this is the autoclavable version. So because it's autoclavable, we're going to save that. We'll go ahead and we'll turn the machine off. I'm just gonna slide it back. This entire handpiece is removed. So it just pulls straight out. You'll notice here that there is a red dot here and a red dot here. It's just red dot to red dot. So you pull straight out like so and it's red dot to red dot, right? That's that's all that happens here. Push in, it's not a turn, it's just pull and push. So once we've removed that, we can go ahead and take the clips off here. So we're gonna remove the clips from both the uh, tubing itself, as well as from the autoclavable line. And we're gonna do that all the way around. You'll end up with a bunch of clips, You'll end up with your autoclavable line by itself, and those will get reprocessed separately. Back here, we're gonna go ahead and take our wrench, remove the tip. Keep in mind, it could be sharp, so be mindful, don't poke yourself. That's why you use this wrench. Go ahead and put it back into your little holder. Pull that up. So at this point in time, you're going to have the following items that you'll take to the Stereo Center. All right, the flat wrench if you used it, the uh, round wrench if you used it, you'll have your clips, you'll have your tips, your tip kit, you'll have your um, holder, you'll have your tubing, and all of this. This is all going to be transport, transported to your Stereo Center. Now, make sure to follow CDC guidelines when transporting this, meaning uh, you want to put this in some sort of a vessel uh, that, that is safe for transporting. That would be a hard-sided as well as covered container. You could use a tray with a lid. Um, you could use some sort of a cassette, but you want to transport all of this in its entirety to the Stereo Center. What's left chair side is going to be your machine itself and your foot pedal. So the machine itself can be 
uh, wipe down with a disinfectant wipe. So we'll go ahead and wipe the machine down, making sure to follow the recommended steps for the disinfectant wipe, following it. So for example, if the wipe said that it needed to be uh, wet for 60 seconds, you make sure the surface is wet for 60 seconds. You can wipe down the arm that held the irrigation. And then of course the foot pedal, um, this can be wiped down as well. And the cable. So once we've wiped all of this down, you'll go ahead and dispose of your, your, your wipe. We'll transport this to the Steri Center for sterilization. We've disinfected these items because these items did not come in contact with the mucous membrane, but we will need to sterilize these items. So disinfected, sterilized, and these are done at the Steri Center. We'll do that now. The next step in the process is going to be the cleaning step. Uh, cleaning is done in one of three ways, either an ultrasonic by hand or uh, with something like an instrument washer. Some of these items need to be done only by hand and then some of these items can actually be put into uh, an ultrasonic or an instrument washer. Let's talk about the items that are done by hand only. This you're going to want to go ahead and, and uh, clean by, by hand. Uh, the cleaning step is done prior to the autoclaving step, the actual sterilization step. Cleaning makes it free of debris. Once the things are free of debris, then we can uh, sterilize. So we'll clean this by hand. We're going to want to take our handpiece, unscrew the nose cone, right? You'll have your nose cone. Under that, you'll have your light guide. And under that, you'll have your LED light ring. The nose cone, this can go into the ultrasonic or an instrument washer. So we're going to just put that here. These items, we do not want to submerge. So we're not putting this into an ultrasonic. We're not putting this into an instrument washer. We're going to wash these by hand. These items here can all go into an instrument washer or uh, an ultrasonic. Now, let's just go ahead and assume for a second that all of these items have gone through the cleaning step. So they've gone through the ultrasonic or the instrument washer, they've been rinsed out, and now they're ready to be put into an autoclave. From here, we need to bag them. So our manufactured recommendation is to put the light ring in a bag, put the light guide in a bag, and then put the entire handpiece into its own bag. Um, personally, I think that it's very easy to potentially bend the prongs on this light ring. So I actually would suggest putting it back in here just as a safety feature. I don't push it all the way in, so I give it, uh, I give the steam the ability to encapsulate it, right? So I wouldn't need that bag, but I think that uh, that's a, a better route to go. So that could be put into an autoclave. You're going to want to bag that. That can be autoclaved. We'll go ahead and we will bag our uh, line holders in here. You'll bag your wrench, right? You'll bag your nose cone. You'll bag your uh, deep wrench. And then your tip kit with all of your tips, you'll put that in a bag, and then finally your uh, holder for your handpiece, you'll put that in a bag. Once you've bagged all of these items, they can then be put into the autoclave. Um, there's a few different types of autoclave. You're gonna either come across like a vacuum autoclave, let's just say like a, um, a Bravo from Sycan, or a, a pressure pulse vacuum like a steam autoclave such as an M11, those would all work. I would not suggest putting any of these items into a dry heat autoclave. Um, these are not meant for that. These are all meant to go into a steam autoclave or a vacuum autoclave, uh, but not dry heat. So once these are all been autoclaved, you're ready to use them.